to the NFC South we go, where the Bucks are at the Panthers. Tampa, a five and a half point favorite on pregame.com. Trend of the week in his career since 2003, when Tom Brady loses a game by double digits, and he did lose a game by double digits. 18 and two straight up the next game, 17 and three against the spread. I think there's another reason to like Tampa here. Think about the Saints and think about Carolina. Carolina is like the junior version of the Saints. You've got a quarterback from the Saints who's also not a strong arm, but smart game manager. You've got Joe Brady, who used to be with the Saints. When you play a similar scheme, a similar team, that second week, it's an advantage for the Bucs. So you've got the 17-3 and three Brady trend after a double-digit loss, and I think matchup-wise, an advantage. Fez, you've got a pick on this. Woo! Yeah, I'm on Carolina here. I like the trend line that these young Panthers have gone on. Started the year 0-2 against the spread. Currently 5-2, a team that is improving. Throw an extra hundo on that one. <laughs> we go to South Florida where the Dolphins are hosting the Chargers, and Miami is a one-and-a-half point favorite on pregame.com. I made a big mistake on Tua. So in the first game, Tua was bad. And not only was he bad, but it looked like he was being protected. They were throwing the ball on first down less than any team this season, meaning the amount they were throwing on first down would have been ranked 32nd. So I was pessimistic the next week against Arizona. What I didn't see was because Miami in that game was getting a bunch of turnovers, that was against the Rams, they didn't need to show what Tua could do. So he looked extra conservative. Why? Low risk because you had the lead after the turnovers. But last week, Miami threw the ball on first down in a way that would have ranked first in the NFL. Miami's been coughing about Tua the whole time. And quite frankly, Tua played exceptionally well. Now, there's a COVID outbreak and all those other factors. But in general, Tua... It wasn't just one bad game and one good game. I think what we saw was that bad game was sort of camouflage, and they were hiding how good Tua is.